Hi guys, this is the next video in my Halloween 2019 Fishing Planet video series and uh, it's what I've been asked to do uh, about collecting bark. Um, the, uh, it took me a long time to find a quick and easy way to get the backlashes and I hope you found that video useful. Uh, a couple of people have asked me to uh, do one for the bark and <laughs> I have to say it's taken me a lot longer to, f to get a reasonable method for, for getting the bark uh, than I thought it was going to be. I have done competitions and uh, missions here at Mudwater a lot before and I assumed that uh, it was going to be a case of going straight to this tree here. You can see the V in it, but from the other end. So in other words, spawning here, I'll show you. And then you can see if you spawn here, you've got the pumpkins behind you. You go down here and down here. And that's that same tree. And what should happen, really, if you land anything around this tree and reel in, you should get it. But I just, I've tried and tried and tried. I've tried it with spinners. I've tried it with walkers. I've tried it with bottom fishing kit um, and just had no, no luck at all. This one here, I'm pretty sure in the past when I fished for whatever that marker is, it was probably fishing for the um, grass pickerel which was an absolute pain of a uh, mission to do really difficult to get that one uh, that's what that mark is there for and I remember getting oodles and oodles of bark um, when I didn't want it now of course now that I do I just can't get it so what I've come up with is if you see there's a tree here which is the one we're trying to get it from then there's that tree in the in the uh, in the distance instead actually this was another thought i had maybe you could catch around that but i tried for about five minutes and got nowhere but what i have found is if you go r as far forward as you can and then just a little bit in, in other words go as far forward so this branch is stopping you then just come a little bit in and then you need to aim going you can just see the blue so that it's around that tree then I think possibly the fact that you you've got sort of tr two trees in the path and who knows what in the reeds as well just seems to give you a slightly better chance of snagging so we're may have snagged something here, we have snagged something here be a miracle if it's bark because I have been I've spent a long time trying to do this and it is so that's two in a row you can see I've just pulled one out there and that's another one um, KP Shimino has done many many brilliant videos um, and um, he was suggesting, I think, trying to fish from the other side like I just showed you, which just hasn't worked for me at all. And he was also suggesting in that video that they come in twos, so you may need to fast forward and try again, or go away and come back again, or whatever. Um, I don't think it really matters what you've got on the, on the um, end of the line. I've got a casting spoon, 21 gram casting spoon on a 3 on a 3.0 uh, what is important here though and what's different to the backlashes video that I did a couple of nights ago is you don't want to be um, hauling in at speed 4 you want to be hauling in at speed 1 so it's a question of trying to get this obviously the the blue column is going to go red when you get to a point where you can't actually cast so you need to make sure that it stays blue and just try and aim for that tree and you need to be pretty accurate with the cast so it should be 
something like yeah, it's 37 meters into speed one and then just pull it as straight as you can towards this other tree and then I let you uh, snag something along the way it does look as though possibly KP was right that uh, you probably get two and then you can't get any more but I tried and tried and tried from the top spot looking this way in other words the other way around uh, now have we got anything here we've got something is it bark or a branch it's reed so the other thing to say I mentioned it in the um, in the backlash video is make sure you've got enough room in your inventory for the bark so uh, I've just cleared some slots for that it's not the end of the world uh, if you have to go back and dump some of your stuff because it's not that expensive to travel here it's about about the cheapest place other than Lone Star which I think is free um, but uh, yeah just make sure you've got some some slots what you certainly don't want to do is get a bark and then find you can't store it anywhere because you haven't just got to get them you've got to store them as well let's see if we can get one more before the end of the video I think you just need to be a little bit further over than I am but you've got to obviously not go too far in otherwise it's going to uh, if we try and get it get the column which is difficult because the column disappears but you can see the column's just about on the tree now. So try and hit that. Try and hit your line exactly. It's about 35, should be about right. So that your line is going through both the trees and pull in at speed one. And just keep, keep going until you get them. we don't know what's in between these two trees because you can't use a boat here and go and explore and I don't think you can really see it from the other side but there could be another tree in, in the middle see the uh, column's gone red there because I've gone too far in so let's try going over this way a little bit more a snag at least. No, didn't didn't take. And another snag. So we've got something this time, what is it? It's bark, hooray. So basically that's it. I think spawn at this bottom point, 
go right up so that you're you can't go any further then come in a little bit so that you're you're in line with these two trees aim use your aim column out sort of level with that tree stump that's out in the middle bring it in until it effectively disappears make sure you get your cast spot on the line and wait for it to sink and then all in at speed one trying to make sure the line goes through the two trees and that seems to give you the best possibility of picking up something and hopefully it'll be bark uh, may even have got another one here No, this is heavier, I think. No, that's a branch. Anyway, you can see, I think, that that's going to work. So, good luck, guys, and I'll see you when I've caught my remaining two, and I'm going for the dendrofin, I think it's called. Bye for now.